units, this is Sierra Whiskey 4-5, stand by unless urgent. Any patrols able to assist with backup at Kenning Farm, attempting to clear private property, experiencing resistance. Repeat, requesting backup at Kenning Farm. Over. Get off! Get off! Move! 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 Get off! Get off! You get them out of here. You get them cuffed. We need another unit. Sergeant Lawson to control. We need more units. This looks straightforward enough. Yeah. First on the door, keep out squatters, secure the property. Life of a bailiff. Anything's better than Alaska Gar. If you're facing armed insurgents with suicide vests, yeah. Now we get to scare pothead teenagers. Easy life. We heard it, soldier. North. So, as agreed, the first case. If happy, let's make this a regular agreement. There's plenty more where that came from. You can guarantee me how many kilos? Unlimited. My boys down the docks have got final sign-off on the containers. We good? We very good. This is private property. This is your eviction notice, lads. You called the police? No, did you? We're not police. We're bailiffs. You told me this place is clean. Usually is.
Look, I've got an idea. Why don't you just turn around and pretend none of this ever happened? Sorry, lads. Can't let you do that. Then you leave us no choice. Sorry, the uh, door was open. Latte? Thanks. I'm worried about you. Don't be. Come on, come on. Don't give me that tough soldier act I saw you yesterday. It all still bothers you, doesn't it? What does he want me to say? Look, you've always had my back. I'm just saying I got yours. This thing is going to follow me wherever I go. Running away isn't going to help. True. Problem is, Caitlin, in this job, we're literally every yeah, day. Yeah, and that's the life we know. Caitlin. Look, knowing you've got my back is all I need right now. Go on. Go get your gear on. Here we are, look. A couple of badasses. Yeah, the police said you guys pulverized those assholes. Yeah, yeah. Leave it out, lads. No chance. So let me get this straight, you two. You stumble across a drug den, and instead of calling the police, you take out the fucks yourselves. Now that's my shit. Nothing to be proud of. Well, like, fuck it isn't. Boss wants to see you two. Now? Thank you, Rebecca. So, traditionally, we let the police handle any violent or illegal situations. Well, it's not like we had a choice. It was self-defense. They attacked us, and we took care of the situation. So I guess I'm lucky that you two are ex-army. Otherwise, I'd be looking for two new bailiffs. Sorry. Look, it won't happen again. 
Another job for you two, if you're up for it. Not Absolutely. really. Absolutely. Don't worry, this one will be far less exciting. Some local brat has inherited his father's old farm. What are we evicting? Sheep? No livestock, just vagrants. Vagrants? Yes, the previous owner allowed the homeless onto his land. The new owner is only interested in selling the property, so it needs to be cleared as soon as possible. Great. So we're kicking out homeless people from their homes? Nice job. No, the police have already cleared the property. You're going in to clean up and secure the old farmhouse. OK, sounds simple. Definitely more simple than the last job. Well, there's something. Well, Rebecca will explain the rest of the details to you. Hey, boss, be honest with me. How many bad guys did you kill in the army? Shut up, old. Caitlin totally killed way more than Brad did. Oh, yeah, gotcha. She's a lean, mean killer machine. <laughs> Oliver, enough. Why on earth did we have to bring these two, Caitlin? Okay, we're nearly there. Straight ahead. Everyone. Morning, Rebecca. So what's the plan? Okay, well, first things first, Jameson sent us over three extra hands to help us out on this one. Is there a problem? I thought this was a straight enough job. Didn't she tell you? Our client is coming to watch over things today. Watch over things. <laughs> nice. He just wants to sell the land. Yeah, sounds good to me. It's fresh meat. <laughs> but no work for us. A good manager always delegates. <laughs> Great. Maybe you two can go and pester somebody else today. Guys. Hey guys, welcome to the team. Caitlin? Tony. Tony? Lawrence. Lawrence. Jen. Jen. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thanks. So the homeless were living here? Yeah? Pretty much the entire land. I'm amazed the council allowed it. It's not very sanitary. Well, to be honest with you, I don't think that they were fully aware of just how many people were living here. And this land is pretty far off the beaten path. Now it's time to the new owner. Leave us alone! Leave us alone! Leave fucking us protesters. Leave Don't fucking protest on someone else's land. Leave fucking do gooders. Mind their own fucking business. Hi, Mr. Kenning, I'm Rebecca. Um, everyone, this is Mr. Richard Kenning. He recently inherited this land off his father. Sorry for your loss. Don't be. Dad was a prick. The sooner I can offload this shit all and make some money, the better. You won't be following in your father's footsteps? I'll help the homeless when I'm no longer in need of help myself, thank you very much. Uh, Mr Kenning, we're here to help you clear the property. Council won't let me sell it until I do. Um, this is Caitlin and Brad, they're our top team, and I'm here if you have any questions. Why are the pigs here? Well, it's just standard procedure, you know, it speeds things up paperwork-wise. Fine. So you're in charge then? What now? I'm paying a fortune for you lot. So our signage team will make a start at the entrance and then we'll just work our way through the house. Michael, if you want to take uh, Tony and Jen, start at the front of the property with the signs, make sure all the entrances are secure. Don't engage with the protesters. All right, come on, signage team. Why don't you get the toolbox, others get the post, and follow me. Ollie, do you want to take Lawrence? Start unloading the van. Quick as you can, now. Yes, sir. Let's make a start in the house. Great. What a shithole. Mm -hmm. We'll try and make this as quick as possible. Thanks. We'll be glad to get out of here, especially with him around. What, Mr Kenning? Mm -hmm. Why do you know him? Yeah, he's very well known to us. A bit of a spiky character. Fab. There's always something, isn't there? I can't believe this is where Lawson died. I'd be glad to get out of here as soon as possible. Why, right, what's up? It's D.I. Evans. He wants me to wrap up these missing people's reports. Mm, sounds fun. <laughs> <sighs> Cozy. Yeah. Glamorous life of the papers. You delivered your boards earlier. Great. So how many rooms do we have? Um, six, I think. OK, guys, looks like we need safety gear for this one. Safety gear? Yeah, this place likely has broken glass everywhere. Well, I don't always agree with you, but this time you're right, Oliver. Everybody tread carefully. 
Told you. It's probably safer if we stay outside. This is my house. Of course. Don't I know you from somewhere? Possibly, sir. Uh, Brad, if you could take PC Williams and Lawrence, do a recce down here, make sure there's no squatters or anything we need to deal with. Just me and you. Great. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You love me really, bro. Bro, really, I don't. Ollie, if you, PC Gray and I take upstairs. It looks clear so far. You must have had one massive porn collection. Looks like we're good, right? Let's try sauce on it. Everything okay? Oh, how are we doing up there? Yeah, yeah, we're all clear. Come on, Dad. Give me a sign. Investments, offshore savings, anything. Did you miss your old man? I told you. Dad was a prick. Never let anyone come here. Said his work was too important. Maybe helping the homeless really meant something to him. You didn't know. He didn't care about anyone. He didn't care when Mum died. He kicked me out the house when I was 16. I literally never saw him again. Prick. Right. Um, <clears throat> I'm done here. Come on, Dad. I hope was so fucking important. Look, um, Mr. Gannings. My dad wasn't a good one. He left when I was young, and that forced me into the army as a teenager. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. What I'm saying is maybe we don't need our dads, or maybe your dad loved you in his own special way. Loved me. He once beat me unconscious because I spoke before being spoken to. Fine. So maybe your dad was a prick. Right, I'm done here. I'll meet you downstairs.
that's black guys ain't the cold. <sighs> Next time that fucking Ollie's getting out of our duties. So we are uh, we nearly done then? Yeah. I can't feel my fingers. Uh, oh. Looks like we've got one more entrance to mark. Right. Tell you what, tea break, yeah? Oh, you read my mind, nice one. Okay, guys, we're set upstairs. How are we doing down here? Yeah, I think we're just about done. Yep, we're happy. Oh, thank God, sick of this place. It's a shithole. Great. Where's Kenning? Mr. Kenning? Are you ready? Just about. <laughs> Michael! Tony! What's wrong? I found Michael's phone. It's just gone. It's just gone. It's just disappeared. Vanished. Playing silly buggers, more like. Michael! Michael! Enough, boys. You've really scared this girl. It's not like Michael to do something like this. Well then, Ollie. You're no longer my least favourite. Yeah, well, even I admit this isn't funny. Enough of this. Ollie, help me get the boards off the window. Right, I need a light on here in a medipack now. Just breathe, Ollie. Deep breaths. Fuck. Deep breaths. Deep breaths, Ollie. <laughs> Michael. Dude, what the hell's happened to Tony? He got fucking manicured, Michael. Shut up, Ollie. It's obviously more than one person. Sit up, sit up. Doctor 2472, do you copy? 1907 calling in. Nothing. Nothing. I had signal before. There's something blocking us. Body came from upstairs, Gray. Yeah. Everyone else just stay here. Fucking stay here! Come on, you up on your feet. Rebecca, help me. Rebecca! I'm going to see about getting some lights working here. Jen? Lawrence, grab a torch. I need you to help me, okay? Run this way. down. Come out with your hands up. Stop, please! Where did he go? No oh, idea. No. 
guys. <coughs> Are you okay? Oh, it just went out from under us. Jen doesn't look too good. I'm gonna get down to you. What the fuck? This house has fallen apart. Jed and Lawrence are down there. I need to get down to them. No way. There's no guarantees we can get you back up. Jen needs medical assistance. We found someone upstairs. I knew it. But we lost them. There's a hidden doorway. Leading where? We don't know. All we could see was steps leading down to darkness. It's probably our best chance of getting out of here. It looks like we're in a tunnel. I can see some light in the distance. We need to split up. Kaylee, no. That's crazy. Potentially, there's two ways of getting out of here. This tunnel, or their secret doorway. Let's increase our chances of getting out of here and getting help by splitting. She's right. We divide by skill set. PC Gray come with me, PC Williams stay with Brad. I hope you're right about this. Trust me. Find the others. We need to get out of here. Good luck. How is she? Not good. She's barely breathing. There's some reaction to stimulus, but she's mostly out of it. Looks like broken bones. Possibly internal bleeding. What can we do? We have to leave her. Alone? I'll stay with her. Are you sure? Yep. Pretty sure I'm happy not finding out what that is. Just don't do anything to bring attention to you and Jen. Keep your torch off and stay quiet. Do you understand? If she starts to show signs of consciousness, just talk to her. Try to keep her calm, but keep her awake. OK. Let's keep her comfy. Yeah. Signal. I got a signal. I got a signal. My battery. But, but I had a signal. It must be this spot. Oh, no signal for me. But I had a signal. I, I, I promise. Where's Jen's phone? Smashed. Probably in the fall. Looks like mine's only with any juice left. The reception's not going to get any better down there. Here. Just check it periodically for a signal. Don't waste the battery by checking every five seconds. And if you do get a signal, just call 999, nothing else. Do you understand? House as a secret staircase. <laughs> for top one. Thanks for that, Ollie. Fuck is that supposed to mean? It means shut the fuck up, Ollie. Fuck off. It's obviously illegal. Whatever it is, why else make it a secret? Sometimes pigs just need to keep their noses out of other people's business. It's a tunnel. I guess we have no choice but to keep going. I guess. What the fuck was that? I don't like the sound of that. What do you think it was? What do you think that's what killed Michael? Look at that young lad still alive down there. Well, Tony. Oh, for his sake, I hope not. Why did you have to do any of that? Uh, 
Are these bones? Not just any bone. Human bone. Where are we? Hell. Come on, Sturridge, pick a tunnel. There's literally two options. Well, which option would you take? Oh, that one. Well, maybe that one? Oh. Let's just split up. Absolutely, under no circumstances are we splitting up. What's the matter? Are you scared? No, Mr. Kenning. It's because we stand a better chance of survival if we stay as one unit. If you can't decide which path we're going to take, I think we need some proper fucking leadership. You? What's the matter? I'm like a strong man. Knock it off, Kenny. Well, I say we take the right. Who's with me? <sighs> left. Definitely left. Suits me. Yeah. Cowards. Right, this thing is fucking useless. I'm taking it off. That fucking jacket off, giving us all away. Look like a fucking traffic cone. Everybody be really careful, no loud noises, no sudden movements. Let's push on. Take as long as you want, pig. Did he go? I don't know. One minute he's here, next he's not. Okay, there's something very bad down there. Where the fuck? Are you seriously leaving us? Some leader. Oi. Wouldn't you want him to run after you if you were the one they took? I say we keep moving. Sitting ducks here. Oh, shut up. Brad wouldn't leave us. <clears throat> um. I think Rich is right on this one. No, no, you were right before. Brad wouldn't abandon us. Unless he's dead. First the pig, then the idiot to Hulk. Who's next? I'm sitting around here, and wait to get tough like that. I'm calling. You know, I'd rather follow an idiotic Hulk than a spoiled prick. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Brad. Did you find Williams? No. But I did find something else. She must have been down here for weeks. Months, even. Yeah, well, she looks very healthy, considering. Are you OK? Someone must have been looking after her. Where's your mummy and daddy? I think she wants to show us. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? It's 
some sort of a lab. Was this your father's? Jesus, your dad was just some weird shit. Guys, what is this? Give me that. Does this belong to me, Dad? It's mine now. Just be careful, Mr. Canning, okay? We don't know what any of this stuff is. Anything good we find down here is mine. Do you hear me? This is my property. in the fucking face. Shut up, Kenning. Seriously? It's your Dr. Kenning's son? Who the hell are you? My name is Maya. I work with Dr. Kenning. And that vow is some of his life's work. In other words, it's mine. Just keep your fucking hands off it. What is it? It's hard to explain. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You said you worked with Kenning's old man. What's going on? Some of our group have been killed. What is going on down here? Things are getting worse down here. <gasps> We need to go now. If any of you guys came down here tracked, it's not safe anymore. We need to go now. You know way out here? Yes. Come on, let's go. Hello? We found your daughter. Hello? Things. I've no idea, Caitlin. Are we going to survive this? How much further? There's a long way to go yet. Tell me about me, Dad. He dedicated his life to develop a serum that creates better humans. Better humans? She means this. You're seriously not thinking about drinking that, are you? What's it to you? This is my dad's gift to me. Oh, his gift to you? I know he would have wanted me to have it. Oh, I can understand that. If I'd known you a couple hours, well, I'd gladly let you take it. Did the serum work? Oh, yeah. Your father was a genius. He's destined for great things, but one of his creations killed him. His creations? <sighs> That's one of the creations. His experiments were successful in, um, unforeseen ways. That sounds very diplomatic. What exactly does this serum do? Heightened reactions, heightened strength, but low intelligence. Wait, wait, where did they come from? To perfect the serum, Mr. Kenning needed test subjects. Hey, hey, 
calm down. Why am I here? Why am I strapped in? Please don't do this. No. No. Test subjects. You mean the homeless? Of course. That's why he had all this scum on his land. He was experimenting on them. It's genius. Take worthless lives and make them meaningful. Worthless to who? Everyone stop and be quiet. Everyone down. Where's your back Okay, don't worry. Caitlin and everyone will be back soon. But from where? Where am I? We fell down. Where am I? We were in the basement and we fell through the floor into this tunnel underground. Caitlin and Officer Gray have gone on to try and get some help. <laughs> How are you feeling? My legs. I can't feel them. We'll be back with some help soon. No. Oh, man, if you're scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> what? what was that? I have no idea. Lawrence. Yeah? I'm like, no, my hand. Yeah, yeah, okay. Promise me. Yeah, yeah, promise. Hey, hey. Did you see how fast that thing was? Did anyone see it coming? Yeah. Your father's serum at work. You're very lucky to have that. It's very rare. Will it make me faster? Faster? Stronger? Smarter? How long does it last? The changes are permanent, but the serum will stay potent forever. It's probably already starting to weaken. What do you mean? That batch is the last batch your father ever made. There will never be any more. I can make one. Only your father knows the process. 
he never shared the formula with anyone or even wrote it down. It died with him. So that vow is the last vow that might ever exist. So how do I know if there'll be any unforeseen side effects? Give me the vial. I can tell you. I thought as much, but now I know. What? This is the last batch your father ever made. It's the pinnacle of your father's work. So it's good. He told me he perfected it. That the results would be better than anything he'd ever hoped for. It's a shame that he got killed before he got to try it first. Are you okay? I just can't believe he died before he got to see the results. And you, his son, you have the last vial. It's almost as if everything's meant to be. You're blessed. Maybe we can reverse engineer it somehow. It'll just get weaker and weaker over time. In 24 hours, it may be worthless. I don't know. It might be even worthless now. Do you think we should drink it? If you don't. Can I? Brad, table. Rebecca. Rebecca. Breathe. Breathe. Brad, she's gone. Brad. No! Brad, she's gone! No! Brad, no! Brad, no! she's gone! No! She's gone! Okay? She's gone. What was that? <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Oh, God, um, Ollie, grab a knife. A knife on the table. Look, just, just stay calm. I'm gonna cut you out, okay? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no. What is going on? Holy shit. Jen. Jen, we've got signal. I don't know the look of this. Oh, 
shit. The cupboard. Go, 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 go. Feels so good. It's a normal part of the process. I feel like I want to be sick, but at the same time, I want to eat a big bloody steak. Your body is growing and changing rapidly. You'll need some protein. Why the fuck did you bring me here? Fucking backstab it. No. I'm alive because I've earned their trust. You have to do the same. He's got a vial. Before you said I had the last one. He doesn't have the perfected badge like yours. Are you lying to me? <sighs> Mr. Kingston, he's with us. Am I safe? No. Prove your worth. What are you talking about? You must fight one of the tribe. That prove my worth. You've defeated the weakest member of the tribe. Now the tribe lives within you. Whoa. I beat him. I won. I won. <sighs> now what? You have to kill the one you beat. He's no longer a member of the tribe.
I know, these tunnels can't go on forever. We'll run into her eventually. Oh, they just don't give up, do they? Right, I'll leave back to back. You deal with everything in this direction, I'll deal with everything in that direction. Any army tips for me? Yeah, don't get hit. Oh, wait, wait. Switch sides, switch sides! Yeah. See me fighting with my usual high standards. I didn't notice. Oh, that's harsh. He didn't make it. No one made it. Only that prick, Richard Kenning. So where is he? He ran off with some woman we found. Some woman? She works for Kenning's dad. She said that apparently they made all of these monsters out of the homeless people. Jesus. We need to get out of here, Brad. I don't want to leave him. We need to prioritize our safety. We're gonna to have to come back for him. Yes, ma'am. Questioning your presence. I've already proved my whip. Don't you hear me? I've turned you into something your father will be proud of. Why? Because you're just like your father. Bullshit! Remember what you said about making worthless lives useful. You're eager to continue his work. Bitch! It wasn't one of his creations that killed him. It was you! Don't strain yourself. It'll just make the pain worse. Get back here! Bitch! Jesus, Caitlin. You paid attention in basic training. Oh, that should do it. So, they draw first blood? Poppins, where'd you get all that stuff? I'm in a storage room. These things must have raided that disused mine we drove past. Yeah. 
I reckon all these tunnels, they're all connected somehow. Seriously? <clears throat> and to think, Kenny's dad was experimenting on all these poor souls, and everyone thought he was helping them. Whoever they were, their personalities have long been erased. Whatever he did to them. I don't even think you can call them human anymore. Just like animals. Mindless. Just running on instinct. Okay, I think we're good until we get you to a doctor. I hate you. Baby. I swear to God, Caitlin, if we get out of this, we get in different jobs. We? Yeah. I'm not looking for a fight. Who's this? This is the evil bitch who was helping old man Kenning with his experiments. I didn't help Kenning. I stopped him. And we're meant to believe you why? I literally just saved your lives. I'm not buying it. You ran off the very second that Rebecca was attacked. I had to get away for my own safety. I didn't know who you guys were or if I could trust you. Rich was the one that followed me. So what do you want now? I want to burn this place down to the ground. Anyone who has a similar goal is an ally of mine. And what about your newfound friend, Rich? I told you, he followed me. He's obsessed with his dad. He thought I had all the answers. I didn't help Kenning. I was abducted. I'd lost everything. I didn't know anyone in this country. I came to the farm because there was a generous man who offered to help people down on their luck. When Kenning first brought me down here, he was going to experiment on me, but I managed to get out of it. So why didn't you escape? When Dr. Kenning died, I thought that escaping this place would be easy, but his creatures go wild without their leader. They didn't kill me, but they didn't want me to leave. So where's Rich now? I forced him to drink the medicine before he could force it on anyone else. What does the medicine do? It turns you into these monsters one of his father's tribe. So Rich is one of them now? He's still turning, but he will be. Brilliant. So now he's gonna be twice as fast, twice as strong, and twice as stupid. You wanna destroy this place? We need to find somewhere to plant these. Follow me. Stupid bitch. I do feel stronger. That file hasn't done me any harm. My Kenning blood has kept me strong. Give me another vial. I'll be even stronger. Don't you know all this is mine? My dad made you! You're mine! Where are you going? Is it that bitch? This is a part of the old mining pit. It's directly under the cave system where Kenning's creations live. And what's with the explosives? Leftover from the mine. So if we blow this place up... The whole world will collapse. And it'll finally be over. Let's see what's in those barrels. Be careful. 
This stuff is really volatile. The chemical compounds in dynamite haven't changed for 200 years. Very knowledgeable for a man with muscles where his brain should be. You're looking a little under the weather there, Rich. Did you really think I was going to let you destroy my dad's legacy? legacy? You're just another sick, twisted prick. Just like your father. Well, they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. This guy will kill all three of you with his bare hands. Go get it. He looks like he's taking his juice. Let's go, Daddy's boy. Mom. Twice as stupid. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Scared you'd lost me. It's good. Maya. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what? I didn't attach the last explosive on time. No worries. We can do it. Hold this. Apply pressure. You don't understand. They're attracted to the noise. This place is going to be filled with creatures. You guys won't be able to fight them. Right, then we need to get you out of here. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm not leaving you behind. We can get you help. I'm losing too much blood. I'll die either in here or out there. I'd rather die knowing that I took this place to hell with me. What are you saying? Even if you could save me, I don't want to live in a world where this place still exists. We can't let you do that. You have no choice. I'm going to blow this place up, whether you're here or not. <coughs> Come on. Come on, Kayla. <clears throat> Go! Run! I'm done. I'm serving cocktails on a beach. Oh, this ship, hey. Lousy tourists. No responsibilities. Good weather. Yeah. Easy life.
traveling is my time to distress is when my head is best the moment is like a pathway for my head to compress all this mess I just need some time away I just need some time 